excited to talk to you. Okay. We'll be getting into the sympathizer, which uh, comes out April 14th on HBO Max. I uh, saw the trailer. It looks amazing. But before that, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passions. I want to know where your passion for acting kind of came from, because you had an interesting kind of upbringing. Was a certain role inspired? You know what? Most natural, if you. No, it it has always been there. Even uh -huh. my mom told me when I was seven or eight, I would be like uh, when there are adults gathering around and they want me to uh, pretend I'm whatever. You know, I would act right away. You know. And I was always want to be the center of attention, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then I realized that uh, when I look back at all of my accounts, every word that I have, part of my password has always been like acting. And, you know, so I have manifested that since I was very young, you know. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's, you know, things take time. It's as it with anything in life, just when you say, well, I don't care too much for it. Then it comes, you know? <laughs> I love yeah. that. Well, cool. Talk about how you got the role as Madam in The Sympathizer. Well, you know what? Uh, people ask me that, and I think it's pure luck and being at the right time and at the right place. Mm -hmm. um, I had just, it was on my 30th year of being an MC, and I was thinking, you know, that's enough. My partner had just retired that year. And um, I told Paris by night that I want to get out of it too because I don't want to work without my partner. Uh -huh. So then I am, um, and I'm also at the stage in my life where I've raised both my kids. Um, you know, my parents are no longer with me. They both pass away. So I really feel that I can live for myself now. I can do whatever I want. And it's not about the money. I, I don't need to do it for the money. I don't even need to do it for the fame. I need to do it for the pure joy of it. Yeah. So yes, I was at this um, dinner party and my partner at the time just said, you know what, if you want to become an actor, I'm going to ask Miss Kilching to hook you up and show you the rope and show you how to get to Hollywood. So Miss Kilching happened to be there. She has always been an aunt to me. She's a very close friend of my mom, but somehow I never connected, you know, I never thought that to come to her. But um, we call her over and we said, you know, I really want to get into acting. How do I do it? The next morning, she sent me an email connecting me to my agent at, at uh, Image Powerhouse. And when I was talking to my agent, Kim Luan, at that time, she said, you know what, Kizun, why don't we just have um, a gentleman's agreement, no contract yet. I'll send over a few scripts to see how you do. Mm. She sent me two scripts. Uh, one script, I heard that I got into like the final ones. The second script with the sympathizer. Wow. And, and that's it, you know, and then the sympathizer. And I did not know how big a deal this was. At that point, I was just going to go on every audition just uh -huh. to get experiment. I mean, when I had to go on YouTube and learn how to make, uh, you know, a self-tape audition, you know, <laughs> and then I, I sent it in. And then next thing I know, they said, OK, the director want to meet with you. At that time, I was in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Like I said, just when you don't care that much for the role and you don't know, and I'm like, you know what? If they sent me a business class ticket to fly back there to audition, I will, because, you know, <laughs> I'm here, I have all this work and I can't take time off. I'm like, Phew. and then they say, okay, they'll do it over Zoom. So, okay, so I met the director over Zoom. Um, I did the, the audition and I thought, as with any role, you probably won't hear back for four or five months, if at all. You know, if they don't pick you, they don't let you know. And then an hour later, my agent takes me and they said, you're it. And then, so when, when I, when I came there and I met the hair and makeup people, mm -hmm. they were showing pictures of, uh, you know, the thing that they want me to look at. And they were showing picture of my mother. Oh, really? So they had on their own, on their the, an internet and came up with her picture. And they had the wardrobe and my hair and stuff like her. Oh, so that's why. Cool. Yeah, so that's why I said that they told me that when I sent in my self tape, mm -hmm. everyone looked at it and said, "This is the girl." 
because wow. I did not know that part of the story was based on, you know, someone that looks like my mom. So I think I'm yeah, just lucky. Wow. And I'm just lucky at that at that very moment, a day before, uh, um, a week before, I had gotten my agent and I had, you know, talked to Miss Kyu Jing because if I had not gotten an agent, I would never known about this project. Absolutely. So. Well, yeah. it's really inspiring. I'm glad you shared that story because a lot of people, they don't follow their passions later in life. And I think you did. And look at this role you got. It's amazing, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So oh. not only you have to follow your passion, but you have to take some step towards it. Mm -hmm. You know, not just sitting there in your mind. Nothing's going to come true unless I get an agent, unless I send in the audition tape. So there's that too. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I saw they had the premiere at the uh, Paramount's studios lot which you got the 10 and walk the red carpet how was that you had this beautiful red dress on you know blue dress blue dress, blue dress. sorry <laughs> <laughs> um you know it felt surreal but at, at the same time i was not nervous oh yeah it was i thought i would be nervous but um i i i feel very calm very collected and uh i was able to answer all the questions and it just felt wonderful yeah mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Did you get to talk yes. to Robert Downey Jr.? I don't know if he had shared scenes with him yes, or yes, at the red yes. carpet. Yeah. Well, yes. Um, not at the red carpet, but the night before that, uh -huh. uh, he had a, a private dinner. Just like before we started the whole project, the taping, the filming, he had a private dinner for all the cast members. Um, so when he, he met and he talked to us one on one. And same thing before the red carpet day, the night before, we had a very warm gathering with all of us. And, you know, the head of the studio, I didn't know, but the CEO of HBO was there, oh, wow. um, you know. Yeah, and the head of A24, uh, yeah, everyone was so welcoming and greeted us one-on-one -on -one and yeah. Very cool. Well, everyone can check it out on HBO uh, April 14th. And it uh, yes. goes all the way to May 26. It uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of twists and turns in the story. I can't wait to see it. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to talk to me. I was very inspired by your story, and I, I can't wait to watch this when it comes out. All right. Thank you. Thank you.